Okay, so we got this running in an Unreal Engine now. We've got our triangle mesh that we created by converting a VR180 photo, and it's a full 3D environment that we can fly around in. Move the camera forward or back, or go up or down, left or right. We could even look under the mesh if we wanted to. Um, so I think this could be a really powerful way of creating virtual environments for virtual production in Unreal. So we're going to be looking at how to convert a VR180 photo into a triangle mesh so that we can import it into Unreal Engine and use it as an asset. I think this could be a really efficient way of creating high quality 3D backgrounds. So we're going to use this VR180 photo captured with a Canon R5. Um, if you need a sample photo to test this out, you could use the one at this URL. And then I've just downloaded that same file locally here. So this is the image. And in the LifeCast software, we're going to select that as the input. And we will choose Triangle Mesh as the output format. And we'll put it in that same directory. And then we'll just click Convert and wait a little while while it generates a depth map and converts that into a triangle mesh. OK, looks like it's finished. So. Here we can see the depth map that it computed for this scene. And it also created these three files. So one of them is the OBJ triangle mesh file. And then there's also a texture map and a depth map. We won't use the depth map, but it's there in case people want to use it for other effects like compositing. All right, so let's get this into Unreal Engine now. I have a project here, which is just the basic virtual production project in Unreal 4. And the only thing I've really done to it here is changed the view mode from lit to unlit. Now I'm going to come into my folder and just drag this OBJ file straight into the content browser. And the only thing we need to change here is to change the import uniform scale to 100. This is because the OBJ file will have things in units of meters, but Unreal Engine 4 wants it in units of cents. Make sure that's 100. Import. All right, we can just ignore that. Now we have the mesh, and we can drag it into the scene. It's not going to look like anything until we put a texture on it. So let's get our texture and drag it in here. And we'll just drag that onto one of the gray parts of the mesh. It still doesn't look right. We're going to need to come in and edit the material that it created. So double click here. And we're going to change a couple things here. So the shading model will be unlit. And over here in the blueprint, you can see that now um, this has changed. And we're going to connect the RGB of the texture sample to the emissive color. And now it shows up. And we also want to make this two-sided and then click Save. Okay, so now that we've put a texture on it, our mesh is looking a little better. Um, Unreal is also spawning it in at a different location, so let's just move it back to the origin. For the best results, you want to put your virtual camera and the mesh right at the origin, and the further away you move from that, the more artifacts you might see. So let's get back to the origin here. 